Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and I'm here with Nick, George, and Kim. If you're new here and you'd like to learn how to play this game, please check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. And just a quick reminder that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow. Liking, subscribing, and sharing are easy and free ways to show your support. If you're interested in joining us for a future episode, feel free to reach out in the comments and we'll try to set something up. You can also leave a comment to help us improve or just to let us know what you'd like to see next. Okay, let's go ahead and introduce the decks that we'll be playing today, starting with Nick. All right, this will be my first time playing Mufari, the Beast Hunter, who uh, is trying to track down his quarry. And I'm going to do it with some, uh, some buff denizens, just straightforward jacked dudes fighting beasts in the, in the jungle. Very cool. All right, next up, we've got George. Hi, everyone. Using uh, Lorene, the safety inspector, to consistently score three points every time a Denzian I control didn't enter my active zone and has four or more health. Uh, should be an interesting battle. All right, you're playing the safe boys today. And next up, we've got Kim. Uh, hello, I'm playing Eldrian Famed Explorer. I've chosen kind of a go wide purple and green strategy for this. Uh, because I really enjoy the concept, and I'm hoping to maybe sneak a win in there. Ha, <laughs> sweet. Very cool. And finally, we have me playing Mia, Junior Quest Seeker. This deck is all about stalling the game long enough for me to set up some locations with really expensive activation costs so I can score a ton of points activating them. All right, and that's it for the deck intros. Mulligans have been complete. Let's jump right into the game. All right. I'm going to start with Decorate a Path, and then I'm going to use my one gold to play Black, Mora Powder, and pass my turn. Wow, all right. Get my gold for turn. I will begin my turn by playing Quiet Path. I'll use his arrival ability to look at the top card. Um, I'll leave that on top. That's actually fantastic. I will drop three more locations. This is a location-centric <laughs> deck, after all. I'll go ahead and use my free draw now, and I'll spend my first turn's gold putting a search counter, or sorry, in this case, a quest counter on the Keteran Vault. And that's it for me. Pass. Always funny seeing all those locations from the location deck. All right. <laughs> uh, start my turn. Play a hidden thicket and take my free draw. And I believe we will just search it atop myself for your play. But uh, no more locations for me. End of my turn. Pass. So turn one, gold. I play Statue of the Good King. One draw for my free draw. Another statue of the good king. <laughs> There's nothing to put it on, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to abandon this location so I can do another draw. And it hasn't really yielded me any more positive results, so I will end my turn. Yikes. Okay. Turn two. I'm going to play a craftsman apprentice. Okay, and then I'm going to draw my card for turn, uh, and I'm going to end my turn. Fantastic. Gold for turn. Free draw. All right, Nick, I know you're not going to be happy to see this, but I'm packing obstructive roadblocks. For one gold, I'm going to play this, Hard. and I'm going to lock down your hidden thicket. Oh. All right, and then for my next gold, I'm going to go ahead and spend one gold to put a quest counter on Keteran Vault, bringing it up to two. And I'll go ahead and pass the turn like that. That sort of really messed up my plan. As it does. I can't draw until I get something out of my hand, so let's do so. Play Blackmore Powder for one. Another one. They're out there. And then we'll take a free draw. All right. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll just leave this one up to, uh, up to fate and pass the turn. <laughs> oh, not spending your last gold, eh? Oh. So on my turn, I have two gold. I will play Overprotective Mother. Very cool. Draw a card for my free draw. And I end my turn. On my turn, uh, I'm going to take my free draw. Ooh, that's a fun one. Uh-oh. OK, I think I'll play it out like this. I'm going to play my Diligent Farmer nice. for two. Then I'm going to use my remaining one on a Dishearten. <sighs> uh, Choosing Overproductive Mother. Brutal. I'm going to use Craftman's Apprentice uh, Routine to make a token that's a copy of my Black Mora Powder. Nice. 
And uh, with that, I'm going to pass my turn. That's actually such a cool thing you've got going on now. I mean, cool in the sense that it's good for you, but it's terrible for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I will gain my gold for turn. Free draw. Okay, we are in an interesting situation. So as much as I would like to start getting crazy, I'm very afraid of this at this point. So I'm actually just going to take my turn off to play Declare Guilty for three gold, banishing your Craftsman Apprentice. Okay, change zones, bottom of deck. All right, so debating if I want to free up Nick. <laughs> uh, I mean, tough choices. Damage is done. Just get it out of here, it's fine. No, no, no I'll pass like that. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, so start my turn, gain my gold. For me, it's going to be Treasure Hunter. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I didn't free that up then. Drop a location. And... Expedition now unlocked. Uh, yes, we'll uh, draw a card first. Your free card. See if we want to spend it. Any, spend it in any differently. Mm -hmm. I don't think we do. I think we will activate the expedition. Gain two gold. Sell our black more powder. One more gold. And play a hungry bear. Nice. I applaud you for that choice. That is so yeah. cool. Get some. Uh, get some dudes out to, to help with the hunt. That's right. The get some beefies. Beefy might be yeah. Excuse though. me. I made an illegal play. I put Diligent Farmer into play while I don't have uh, any alignment to green, and I didn't pay the alignment tax, so I'm going to have to put it back into my hand. Good catch, Kim. I actually missed that, but thank you for catching that. All right, and then with those denizens in play, we will use Statue of the Fierce Hunter's arrival ability to make uh, Treasure Hunter just a little bit more safe. Wonderful. There's plenty tough. All right, and uh, that, that's what I'm going to do. Pass to George. OK. I don't really have many options, so I will play my restraining order. It frees up my hand so I can draw a card. Play my safe. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Regulations. Yeah. I can hopefully draw into something better next turn, yeah. and I'll pass my turn. Okay. I'm going to start my turn by taking my free draw. I'll start it off with a dishearten. Uh, choosing your treasure hunter. Down he goes. Minus two, minus two. Then I'm going to use my remaining three to play Alluring <laughs> Seductress to gain Ooh. control of your treasure hunter. Oh, boy. That's a good play. That is such a good play, yeah. All right, Nick, I go ahead and... It's yours. Very cool. Now can you unlock his expedition? That would be the clincher. That would be the clincher. Unfortunately, I don't think I can do that. Uh, can, I, can I only sell one item in a turn? You can only sell once in a turn, that's correct. Okay, then uh, that'll be the end of my turn, so I'll pass. All right, go for turn, free draw. Okay, I think I'm about ready to have a big turn here. I know Mia's almost certainly gonna get Black Mora powdered, but I think it's time to start scoring some points. So let's go ahead and play Mia, Junior Quest Seeker for four gold. All right, Nick, I'm finally going to free you. I'm going to sell my obstructive roadblock to gain one gold. All right, so I'm going to activate Keteran Vault, spending one gold, gaining one point, putting a quest counter on it, and gaining myself five gold. One, two, three, four, five. For Happening. one of that gold, I'm going to put a search counter on Hidden Thicket, spending one gold, gaining one point, putting a search counter, and then I'm going to spend three gold to activate Patrol Vessel, one, two, three, scoring myself three points. One, two, three, and drawing a card. You gotta get that Keteron Vault out of there, don't you? Thank you, and I lose the Keteron Vault in the process. Okay, what do I wanna do next? I'm gonna go ahead and spend one more gold to play Travel Abroad. That's gonna let me search my deck for a non-unique location. So I'm going to go ahead and search for this card, Research Vessel play the research vessel and abandon the quiet path to draw another card. And that'll be it for me. Pass the turn. All right. Man, what do I do with all this gold that I have access to? <laughs> Let's take our free draw first. All right, all right. So what's funny about this is I, I kept a statue in my hand last turn to have another expedition, but if yeah. I just played it, I wouldn't have lost them. Yeah. You never know these things. Anyway, we'll, we'll start with the statue. Um, we will abandon the previous statue. To get the uh, abandoned draw. Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, I don't get to get any points this turn, but I think it's still right to play Mufari. 
play the champion, three gold, use the last gold to activate its ability. Oh. And, yeah. I think I'm going to give uh, Georgie Boy over there mm. a token. Yes. Cool. Yeah. cool beans. So my bear is going to make an attack in. For Dimaggio? Yep. And to keep it safe from Mufari's core, I'm going to use the arrival ability of the second statue to give the bear one more up. Very cool. All right. That's all I can do for the turn. Pass. Okay. It's my turn again. It's turn four. So I get four gold. And my phase counter. Uh, let us try a free draw to see if we gain some momentum. How's it look? Unfortunate. Oh, man. So it would seem that... So my obnoxious name caller is going to cost me three gold to summon to the field. Yeah, not bad. Not the worst. You can also uh, sell this to get more gold if that helps. Absolutely, I could sell that for... You know what? That's actually a fantastic idea. Perhaps that would be for the best. Brace for impact. The tactic. Wow. Milton right. Bradley. I assume you're giving me plus zero plus three, right, George? Probably how it goes. Um, Thanks for giving my treasure hunter plus zero plus three. I oh, really yeah, look at that. that. Another great target for Brace for Impact. You're so, I mean, you're those so all sound like... I mean, those all sound like really great ideas, but I was hoping I could try and win despite the fact that I'm at a disadvantage of this game. Oh, juncture. fine. So, I mean, forgive me for not thinking of you guys at this current juncture, but I would really like to see how what happens when I do this. Yes. So you'll have to, you'll have to forgive me on that. So, yeah, I guess I'll me. just have to forgive you. you. You can even buff it even higher. Look at that. I mean, like, that's probably what I was planning on doing, though. One does tend to forget. Those get the boost from safety regulations. So maybe I should probably just, you know, go ahead and make Mufari's quarry attack this mm. treasure hunter of yours. Because I don't, no. really want, I don't really want you uh, doing more than all of that. The... Okay, I think that's everything for my turn. So passing, sorry for taking too long. Nope. No, it's all fine. All good. Uh, I'm going to draw my card. I have five gold. I'm going to spend one of it to black Mora Powder... Uh, your Mia. Yep. I'm going to use my other Black Mora uh, on the Mufari. Wow. <laughs> Very forgetful. The champions. Uh, I'll play Demoralize. Oh, that's a good one, too. Uh, and with that, I think I'm going to just pass my turn. Yeah, okay. I mean, that was pretty productive. You slowed Nick and I down quite a lot. Um, all right, so mm. let's see. Get my gold for turn. Draw Uno Cardo. Uh, I guess I'll just spend a spend a turn getting some value, huh? Um, I would just play two of these, explore the unknown, and I don't know if I actually want to spend the last gold because it's just gonna go to waste. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'll go ahead and end my turn losing my unspent gold and pass to you, Nick. All right, in my gold. Let's just start with a free draw. And Mufari's gonna take two turns to like up himself in health. You don't have a cottage. Not as such. Uh-oh. I did not really foresee the lose abilities leave on the field type play. That's okay. <laughs> There's things we can do. There is something I could do. It's kind of funny. Oh, funny is good. It's kind of weird. Funny I don't know if I want to do it. You must do it now. Funny equals good. All right. Well, maybe this will garner some favor, future favors from you. Uh, Mia is going to join <gasps> my hunt. Mia is going to join the hunt. All right. Uh, yes, favors Juan currently. So let me just make a right. note here. I can say, for all you guys watching at home, here's an easy way you can do this. You can say no default abilities, followed by the plus range. So this basically is a nice way to signify that she does not have her abilities printed, but she does have a new ability called ranged. So she is now a 3-5 ranged denizen. Yep. So then Mufari, seeing this new hunter, but not really remembering that he's on the hunt himself, because he's black more powder. I'm going to run face first into it. Oh, okay. That is super clever. Okay. No, not bad, not bad. Just needed him out of there for... That was brilliant. ...eventual point gain. I think then what we'll do is... Uh, ...save disaster survivors for the remaining three. Don't think we'll make any further attacks. Oh, so, yeah, pass. All right, George, you're in a, actually a fantastic position right now. True. Um, I'm on five gold. Uh, we are entering phase two. 
and I have a free draw. I will use it now. I play Dishearten for three gold. There's a lot of disheartening going on around here. And I'm going to use it on the Hungry Bear. On oh, my bear. Poor bear. No. So Who disheartened hungry. the bear? This is so sad. I mean, when you're uh, hungry for too long, you do get disheartened. I think that is flavor win. See, you understand. Uh, <laughs> I also play my short sword. And Wait, I... no Lorene? No, 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 no. no. Okay. I, will s I will sell it. Oh, because you want inspiration! Too. Genius! Oh, okay, all right, all right. Uh, That's brilliant. You're playing um, 5D chess. I can't keep up. Uh, not just name colors. Inspiration to 1-1 one, one someone else. And that 1-1 one, one someone else is Hungry Bear! He died of starvation. <laughs> no! And That's so sad. It's crazy, because it gets crazier. Because guess what? This is phase two! You yeah. know what that means? means that these guys... It means get I get another two health. That's right. Oh, jeez. Relax. Um, oh, uh, my unique Denzian range. When you end my when you end your turn, you score three points for each other Denzian you control that didn't enter your active zone uh, this turn and has four more health. Guess who has four more health? Everyone at home. So guess what happens when I have no more gold? No. I end my turn. And that means I have six points. There it is. Wowzers. That's Exodia. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead, Kim. Okay. I don't know if I can live up to that turn. That was a crazy, uh, crazy combination. Yeah, that was I'll draw my card for turn. Uh, I'm going to play my, another Craftsman's Apprentice into a Grand Theater so that I can draw a card on its arrival ability. Very nice. Insanity. I know. It's absurd. Run out Zealous Protester. Then I will use my remaining two gold to uh, desire to live onto my Craftsman's Apprentice. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be using my Demoralize, uh, giving up to two denizens, minus one, minus one. Those two denizens are going to be Loreen and uh, Obnoxious Name Color. Nice. I'm going to pass my turn. Fantastic. Get my gold, get my phase counters. Uh, I will not use my free draw yet. I'm going to activate my... Explore the unknown. Uh, I will put this into hand. Shuffle. I will now activate my second Explore the unknown. Look at the top three. Fetch that card. Shuffle. Uh, okay. So first things first. I'm gonna spend one gold to play History Education, and then now I will take my free draw. Ba boom. And then I will go ahead and play this location here, Hidden Cave. I will spend one gold to put a search counter on it. And then I will play another location, Verdant Path. I will activate its arrival ability, looking at the top card. Do not want. And I'm going to abandon this to draw a card. Fantastic. I'm going to play Crackdown on Crime for three gold. I mean, I've got a sweet attack here. I might as well use it. I'm going to have... Hmm, yeah, I'm going to have Mia attack the uh, obnoxious name caller, dealing three damage. And then I will end my turn, losing my one unspent gold, and pass it over to you, Nick. All right. I'll get my gold. Take a free draw. Point we're going to abandon a location. Take one more draw. What we're talking about. Dangerous path. Let's look at the top card. We'll bottom that. We will use one gold to activate hidden thickets. <laughs> turn six, hidden thicket. Perfect. Right on schedule. Oh, Nick, you're frozen. All right. Yeah. Unfortunately, my power went out here in the whole building. I'd love to get back in the game, but I don't think it's possible. So uh, we're going to take the hunt elsewhere. We'll leave the quarry in George's capable hands. And uh, thanks for the game, guys. I'm out. Peace out, Nick. Good game. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's it. All right. Leave and call. Good luck, guys. Thanks, bro. Thanks. Okay. So it is my turn. We are on turn six. Six gold. This is up. Phase three, draw, put Hidden Cave into play before I abandon Statue of the Good King to draw another card. And then I will use four gold to play Remove Distractions to play another Safety Regulations. All right, George, you're looking kind of scary. This has to resolve. I mean, so you don't I'm have to. to. You could just let it expire. 
Yeah, you don't uh, have to. One, two, three. Fine. One, Mr. two, try hard three. Over there. And now we change this to inactive zone. I put that in the exactive zone, and I'm out of gold. But guess what? That's six more points because I end my turn, and we're at 12, baby. Yeah. <sighs> Yikes. Free draw. Now I'm going to uh, cash in my grand theater uh, for a card. Abandon, nice. I'm going to spend one on a chromatic ring. Ah. Now I am aligned to all alignment types. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, then I'm going to use my six to play Bandit Raiders. I'm going to... Nice. It has Swift, so I can immediately attack yes. with it. Yes, you can. I'm going to attack this. Get cool. rid of this, please. Get away from me. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right, so aggression is aggression, now Aggression, mm -hmm, and I'm going to gain two and draw a card. The spice, the spice. <laughs> uh, phase two on my demoralize, I believe, correct? Yes. Uh, is going to activate. So one of them is going to be obnoxious name caller, and the other is going to be Mia. Sure. Okay, uh, I'm going to play a crazy uh, sequence now uh, to routine produ uh, produce a copy of oh, my chromatic ring. Oh, this is so cool. I see what's happening. A uh, copy of chromatic ring. Yep. I'm going to sell the copy. Yep. Change to inactive to gain one more. Then this I'm going amazing. to play my champion. That's right. Uh, and fetch a non-unique location. I'm going to choose Verdant Path. Very nice. Then I'm going to play my don't, Verdant Path. Don't forget to shuffle. Yeah, uh, shuffle deck. Uh, look at the top card. I'm going to put that on my bottom. You're cooking with fire uh, now. I'm cooking with fire. I'm, I'm going to continue attacking. Mm -hmm. My Zealous Protester and my Alluring Seductress at your obnoxious name color. And my turn, uh, I will gain three. Sweet. Get my gold for turn. Get all my phase counters. So many phase counters. Um, let's see, let's see. All right, so I'm not going to use my free draw yet. I'm going to activate both of these first. So first one, look at the top. Put this into my hand. And then I'm going to activate the second one. Look at the top three. Put this into my hand. Shuffling. I'm going to play this exploration vessel. And then now I'll use my free draw. I will play this familiar road. And now I'm going to activate history education, drawing yet another card. All right. Full we man. are going to play Black Mora Powder. And then we're going oh, to use boy. Black Mora Powder to remove all abilities oh, from Mufari's quarry over here. So now he is just a vanilla 211. And don't bother putting reminders on because we're about to do some fun stuff here. We are going to play a card called Incite Paranoia. And no. what Insight Paranoia does is it dismisses all hostile denizens. So this, 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 they're all going to go back to their owner's hands. So that includes oh, Mia. Whoa. And Mia will essentially just get put into the champion Wait, zone. But uh, that, no, that doesn't go, that, that's a token that can't go Yeah, that's right. So the hand. token will just disappear after going to your hand. And then I'm going to go ahead and abandon my familiar road now to draw a card. Do I have anything useful to do for two gold? Honestly, not really. So I'm just going to play two toll collectors, mostly for the memes. I don't suspect they're going to last long. Or maybe you guys are afraid of attacking now because uh, you see that I have, I'm playing Hostile Punisher. So maybe they will stick around. So yeah, I'll go ahead and play those. Um, all right, so now I'm going to activate Crackdown on Crime. I'm going to go ahead and banish this individual here. Put this on the bottom of your deck, please. OK, sounds good. Change to bottom. Yep. All right, and I think that's everything I can and want to do for this turn. So I'm going to pass it over to you, George. Awesome. We are on turn seven. So we got seven gold. We need to turn on the phase counters. I need to draw two cards. OK, uh, then I will take my, my free draw. So I play the trained assassin. Ah, all right. Cost me all seven of my gold. I activate safety regulations to give health to my trained assassin. Do you want to buff my toll collector as well, or? 
It does say two, doesn't you can, it? You can give some to Eldrian. I think he would appreciate it. It says up to two, George. I mean... So I will give it to Eldrian. Wow, what a raw! And I end my turn, but since I do not have Lorene out, I do not collect any more points. You wouldn't even and if I she pass. was out, because this guy has just right. the active zone. Right. And I pass my turn to Kim. Hooray. I'm going to draw my card for turn. Uh, okay, I'm going to activate my Dormoralize, mm -hmm. uh, giving minus three, minus three to Trained Assassin. And to Toll Collector. Hmm, okay. I have a feeling I know what's coming next. No, really? Alluring Seductress? Oh! <laughs> I'm going to play Alluring Seductress. Uh, I'm going to take your trained assassin. Hooray. Then I'm going to uh, pay three to Termination Notice. <sighs> Uh, it's gonna. I'm gonna pay two to play it, and then I'm gonna immediately uh, yeah. lose it to destroy your crackdown on on crime. Oh, this is so brutal but beautiful. So that gets banished, puts at the bottom of my deck. Then I'm gonna use my remaining two to play a diligent farmer, and I'm going to uh, end my turn. I gain zero points. Mm -hmm. uh, Sadly. Yeah. All right. Get my goal for turn. Put phase counters on everything. Uh, so yeah, same as before. I'm gonna go ahead and use this first. Uh, put into hand. That completes this. I'm gonna use this. Put into yeah. Put this into hand. That completes this. And then I'll use my free draw. All right. I'll play this location here. Hidden waterfall. And then now I will use my history education to draw yet another card. All right. So no crackdown on crime. I think it's time to just race points. I think it's just a race. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play my champion, Mia Junior Quest Seeker, for 1, 2, 3, 4 gold. And now we're going to start activating lots of location abilities. Okay, so I'm going to activate Hidden Thicket, spending 1 gold, scoring 1 point, putting a search counter, and gaining 2. And then I will do that again to this, going up to 6 now. And then I will spend 3 gold activating Patrol Vessel, 1, 2, 3, scoring 3 points. Uh, and drawing a card. Um, that card, because my hand is full, will go back on top of my deck, but I do get to look at it, so I'll go ahead and take a look at what it is. Cool. And then I'm going to spend three gold to activate Exploration Vessel, scoring myself three points, and then once again, drawing a card that I have to put back on top of my deck, but I already know what it is, so I'm not going to bother looking again. But this is just strictly to score points. I don't care about the value. I just want to score points. I just want to race to the victory. And I think I have the resources to do it. So I'm just going to keep it the way it is. Uh, Toll Collector, I think he has... No, you know what? I'm going to leave him. I think, I think I like him just being around. So yeah, I'll go ahead and end my turn, passing it to you, George. Okay. So gold up, eight, turn eight. These have entered their second phases. Mm-hmm. I will take my free draw, and I will activate my remove distractions now and draw two cards and then discard a card. Put I choose to put my kind counselor into my inactive zone. I'm going to play a crowded shark, play uh, a crowded shelter. Mm -hmm. I will pay three gold to summon to call obnoxious name caller to the field. All the alignment attacks today, huh, George? Bad day, man. It's a bad day. <laughs> Let me summon Loreen. Cool. Now your inspiration's unlocked. Which would net me getting rid of this diligent farmer. Or getting rid of the toll collector. Because I know or that's a big deal. That's yep. a big yeah. deal. You should probably get rid of the toll collector. Toll collector gone. Hold this disar <laughs> this dishearten. All right, for so this, your last uh, three gold for dishearten. Yeah, for this diligent farmer, because no. I, still, I still want to win. All right. All right, so... And that's zero gold, and I am out of moves, so I end... Oh, right. And I'm on phase two of this. Thank you. So I guess that's one, two. One, two. That would be my end of my turn, so mm -hmm. I pass. Okay, my turn. All right, turn nine. Draw a card there. for free. So I am playing Cottages. I'll play my Luxurious Cottage. And I'm going to go ahead and cash in my 
decorated path, I'm going to abandon it, put it into inactive, draw a card. I'm going to pay one to play Greedy Merchant. I'm going to pay six Uh oh. to play Bandit Raiders. No, not again. I'm going to sell my Chromatic Ring for two gold. Go up to four, Too yeah. Too powerful. I'm going to play <laughs> Zealous Protester. Uh-huh. Of course. Uh, and I'm going to play Termination Notice. It's all back then up. I'm going I stalled to... you for a little bit, but... All back up. Uh, I'm going to attack my Bandit Raiders at your Mia. Mm-hmm. Just to maybe hopefully stop you there. I end my turn, and I'm going to score one point for my Alluring Seductress and my Trained Assassin. So, up to five. Nice. Poise to score a lot more next turn. Um, all right, so yeah, I've got tons of draws. I have my free draw, I have my history education, but my hand is full. And at this point, I don't care about value anymore. I'm just going to spend all my gold to score points. That's all I care about right now. Play my champion again for four. One, two, three, four. She's very expensive, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. I'm going to spend three gold to activate patrol vessel. One, two, three. Scoring three points. One, two, three. And drawing a card that... I cannot put it into my hand, or doesn't stay in my hand, and I already know what it is, so I'm not going to bother doing that. Uh, yeah, so for one more gold, I'm going to put a search counter on Hidden Waterfall, scoring one point, putting a search counter, and actually, you know what, I'm just gonna, I am going to play out something. I'm going to play the Restraining Order. Yeah. You don't have the gold. Yeah, I don't have the gold. I'm just debating if I want to like cycle cards out. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, use my free draw now to draw a card, and then I'm going to sell this to get a gold so I can play Marked Map to free up another card, so now I'm going to use my History Education to draw a card. So yeah, kind of a messy turn, but at the end, yeah, at the end of the day, it, it, I've really got the win on board as long as I can keep playing Mia out. Alright, that's good for me. I'll pass the turn. Back to you, George. Okay, turn 9, and you know we're feeling fine. So we're going to up this, we're going to up that. We're going to, we have a free draw that we are going to use now. And remove distractions gives us another two draw. Mm -hmm. and we should just take that now. And we have to put, throw something else away. Tough yeah. choice, eh, George? Yeah, it is. I guess I'm going to have to put my guard dogs into my inactive zone, though. Too bad for you guys. I have another one. <laughs> you had to pay four on it, though. It's fine. It's fine. Lunar Crescent Enclave. I can put into play more white alignment you do have an abandon i think you yep. have an abandon so i'm going to put that into effect oh finally finally hidden flower patch ah so i can start t t using things at normal now cool so, desire to live and then i guess steel buckler desire to live give this to obnoxious name caller of course because why wouldn't you want him to live? Let that uh, child live. I will sell my buckler and I will put each of my gold, my last three golds, mm. as search counters for my search counter locations. Mm -hmm. uh, safety regulations phase three, up to two Denzians. So that's one, two, three. This goes bye bye. Is inspiration activated? Inspiration is I active, yes. Get this greedy merchant out of my sight. <laughs> no. <laughs> but he was being nice, and he was not greedy at all. What do you mean? <laughs> and my turn, and Lorene's going to help me get three more points. I believe I'm out of the game. Whoa. But. Don't count your, I mean, it you depends know, on what you drop. You one. have, like, some secret unique denizens. Like, if you have Ava. No. Yeah, so if you had Ava here, you would win the game. It would, as crazy as that is. Guess what I have? You're kidding me. Guess what I have? No. What? You have Ava and Wavering Optimist? Do you just win the game right now? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Bluffing. You had Ava. Oh. You had Ava. Yeah, I play Population Bloom. Uh, I can't win this game, so I might as well make it annoying. I'm gonna run my Bandit Raiders at Mia. Mm-hmm. And your aggression is now unlocked. Mm-hmm. You could still draw I'm to going Ava to... and Wavering Optimus and win the game. Could still do that. <laughs> I'm going to attack Eldrian. I'm going to attack it at your marked map to okay, destroy yeah, it. Okay, marked map. Uh, and then I'm going to attack the rest of my denizens. Hold on. Each at your 
a hidden waterfall. Okay, so wow. that's, that's all of the work that I believe I can do in this turn. Uh, so you can still draw I... a card and gain two from your band of raiders. That is true. You can still abandon one of these to draw yet another card. Ava and Wavering Optimist? Can't you, no, can't you sell but this? I'll abandon, I'll abandon uh, yep. one card to draw. It was a Treasure Hunter. Okay, all right. And a Demoralize. All right. Oh. A Valiant so Effort, Cam. That, is, that was game over. I'm going to go up to nine points as the game ends for me. Mm hmm. Essentially. Yeah, all right. Yeah, because this is uh, turn 10, this is the 10th turn cycle. Um, there are no more turns after this, but it looks like I will be able to take this because for four gold, I will replay my champion. One, two, three, four. And then I will activate Exploration Vessel, spending three gold, gaining three, and taking the game. Ah, oh, that was a good game. GG's. <laughs> thank mm -hmm. you, thank you, GG's. So All right. I'm very impressed by how this started turning about later in the game. My deck I... is very much built around resilience, so right, okay. I feel like it makes sense. Yeah, and I definitely saw that. I, I think there was so much of your stuff being removed. I even at one point had a, a mass removal for hostile denizens, putting so much stuff back into your hand, but you managed to get a whole bunch of stuff out there, uh, skirting around mm -hmm. the alignment tax. I think that was very, very, very cool, tight plays there. Fantastic work. And George, what, uh, what was in your deck? Did you actually have more unique denizens or were you all in on Lorreen? I did actually have another unique denizen. It was actually Ava the Optimist and ah, I didn't okay. pull her out because I didn't know if I could, that, if I could pull her. I so... see. Yeah, this game would have gone much differently if you had uh, balanced your uh, location alignment base a little bit better, I feel. Yeah. Like, I mean, absolutely it would have. In the beginning, I also had some alignment issues. Uh, I w did not have any green, uh, yeah, which was really difficult. Yeah, that was very interesting. You were playing a mono-aligned purple deck for a long time. Meander is a really good game in the sense that you can't just run away with ramp, and you can't just run away with re resources. You have to use your. You have to recycle, re, uh, reuse, and reduce your in optimal plays. Like if I predict, like I knew I have a termination notice in my hand. Mm -hmm. I have a termination notice in my hand, and I didn't use it because I wasn't sure whether or not it was going to be benefit. Like I wanted to stop Alvin because I realized that he was going to win. Definitely, there were things you could have drawn into, but termination notice is not one of them. I don't think even Black Morpowder right. would have stopped this because I was sandbagging a cozy cottage in case someone did try to do that. So, oh. all right, that'll do it for today's episode of Champions of Meandir gameplay. I hope you, the viewer at home, enjoyed what you saw today. Unfortunate about the power outage. Um, sometimes it happens, but thankfully the other three of us were able to stay behind and finish up the game. On behalf of George and Kim, we sincerely hope that you will join us next time on another episode of Champions of Meandir Gameplay. Bye-bye for now. Oh, absolutely.